going on, Fishaholics? Uh, typical day, I guess, according to Victor. Do you Sunny recognize South him Florida. from uh, Land Shark Fishing? And uh, what town are we in right now? We are in Stewart right now. We're in Stewart, Florida. And uh, this is day three for me uh, down here in Florida for my spring break. And uh, I'm actually feeling pretty good. We're gonna try and uh, do some wade fishing today, uh, just like I did on day one. If you guys saw that video, and I caught you know my first snook, and uh, you know caught a bear, you know some barracuda, and uh, you know that was pretty awesome. I'm hoping to get in the same thing today. Yeah. Uh, we're just gonna keep wading, I guess, on the road here <laughs> to the water, and then we'll be waiting for some fish and uh, hopefully get into a few. So let's do it. All right, guys, so we made it to the water. Starting off throwing with. You know, a little bass assassin sea shad. Victor's throwing a little DOA cal. DOA cal. We'll get a closer look at that. Head. We're throwing a bunch of soft plastics and working the docks. Oh, just had a hit. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Little hit. Nice. Like a 16 right there. Nice. And uh, he inhaled it. So, which is funny, I was telling um, Rich that uh, I usually don't get them this shallow, and we got them pretty shallow right now. Boy, Snook? What is it? Really? Would he hit a plug if I threw it there? Would he hit a top water? No, but look, it's so sick. Wait. Oh shit, there he is! Oh my gosh! Oh, I thought he was coming for me! <laughs> I honestly think he came to check me out at first. Yeah, he's, oh my god, that... See, there's something you, uh... I, I, have, I have never... I've never seen that. <laughs> okay, guys. He, he came straight for me. The lenses... Bull sharks, they're here too. Oh yeah, the giant bulls. This is like their main breeding grounds. This is oh, that's, good. that's awesome. Good to know, right? Yeah. I mean, we should have had a bigger rod and just throw out a mullet there and just like come back for it later. Right? See, you don't shark fish in here though at all. You, or... I have shark fish in the river. It's just, it's a very, it's a different fishery. When they're in the river, they don't seem to eat as well as when they're off. Oh, there he is. Oh, oh my Jesus. Okay. Jesus. No. Oh my so gosh. <laughs> oh, that was crazy. I took him away from the docks. That was crazy. <laughs> oh my gosh. Yeah. Dude. That was insane. That was. That was that was like a striper almost, like, so like just came up and they made like that explosive like blow up. Oh whoa 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 whoa! He's not done yet. He's not done. This is probably the biggest one I've ever hooked into. That was cool. He was not intimidated by you at all. He's straight into you. <laughs> awesome. Awesome. I mean, I think with this overcast sky, they're probably going to be... We're, we're going to be on a good bite. Yeah, I don't yeah. think they're going to be shy today. No. Awesome. You could lift them, it's just when they shake, it's they usually tend to... Uh, see, they, it's, it's not as a stable place to hold them. That's a nice one good right job, there. Dude. Woo! It's on that little bass assassin right there. Mm -hmm. Definitely uh, one of my bigger snook I've ever caught. Such a sick fish. There you go. Cool. That's what people come down here to Florida for. It's one of our most prized game fish right there. And he, this guy came and literally ate at your feet. Was <laughs> that was, that was insane. Now that's why, that's why you go fishing in this kind of weather. Yeah. North, south, east, west, doesn't matter. Yeah. You always got to come out in the rain. And it also, what I like to do is I like to make cast parallel to the dock. Mm -hmm. that, yeah, that's... Because a lot of times they'll be sitting right there. Yeah. That's what I love about this fishing because it's it's so, like, relatable. You know, for, like, stripers and, you know, even just bass fishing in freshwater. It's, mm -hmm. you know, if you haven't, like, done this, guys, you definitely have to check it out. Mm -hmm. And, uh, you know, try it out. I love the action of this bait. Like it's, like before you even throw it, like and like you just put it right here in the water and just see it swim, you know a fish is gonna crush it. 
you know, like guys, like look at this bait. You know, if you're going to come down here and you know do some Florida fishing, I strongly recommend picking them up. Um, I got them online. I'll put the link in the description, and uh, you guys can check it out. I'll also, put the whole you know setup that I'm using, you know, rod and reel. Oh, I'm getting. Oh, dang! I missed them. Had a little bite. Felt like a trout, or maybe I was running into a mullet or something. Throw it back over there. Yeah, that's what I, that's what it was. It was a, it was like a bump, and then a bump, 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 and then and then it was done. I really want to catch a sea trout today because I haven't caught them. I haven't caught them since last year, believe it or not. Really? No, I, in South Carolina, I probably caught like that was probably like the average one you caught. Yeah, I was catching them pretty good. Fish on? No, it looks like a snook. It's a little snooky. I just thought because it wasn't really running that much. I only I only knew because of how he jumped as soon as I saw it because every single snook I caught the other day they just come up and they shake that head like that you know it's. They're smart. Yeah, they. And the big ones they go straight for structure. Yeah, yeah. The one I caught he kind of bulldogged. He didn't jump at all. Oh shoot! No, I just stepped on something. He probably stepped on a stinger. <laughs> oh, that that freaked me out right there. Nice little line cider. Swim right off. There he goes. All right, guys. So I'm fishing this bait very similar to as if I was, you know, fishing like inshore areas for striped bass or, you know, inshore areas for flounder or fluke. So if you're a northern guy and you're coming down south here, and you you know you're looking to tangle in with some snook or you know some sea trout, you pretty much can just apply what you already know down here you know you know to catch fish and uh, that's something you can take use to your advantage there he is got him fish on feels like a trout so that oh it's a ladyfish or a ladyfish yeah that's hey, what a ladyfish that you snagged snagged them so you see this right here guess how big how small a snook would eat this um I don't know, it's 15 a, inches. A five pound snook would eat that bait right there, guys. That's a cool Dude, looking fish. Whoa, is... there he goes. <laughs> oh, the jig just got popped out. Oh. It literally just popped out. Oh my gosh. Absolute stud trout, guys. That Put thing is down. massive. Oh my God. That's a massive one. That's awesome right there. Ready? I'll get a bunch of good picks. This is a beautiful fish. I thought it was my first red, but I mean, let's it's a slob. Look, how how long do you think this is? This is that's got a that's a, that's probably a 24, 25 inch trout right there. This is 26 maybe. Yeah, this looks bigger than 24. Yeah, that's probably like 25, 26. Yeah, that's a big one. But jeez, oh, beautiful fish, gorgeous fish. Whew, dude, good job. That's awesome. That's <laughs> that awesome. Pretty much, that's that made that, that made, made, made the, the trip. That made the trip. Made the yeah. day. I mean. I would have came down here for a week for a fish like that. All right, guys. So I had to show you some of uh, Victor's footage of me catching that giant sea trout because uh, for whatever reason, you know, I did a dumbo and didn't press the record button to record and catch that giant sea trout on film, sadly. So, uh, <laughs> you know, I guess it is what it is. I'll have to catch another big one. Whoa, look at that. Whoa, he's jumping twice out of the water. Oh my God, three times. Four times? Nope, nope, he's down. There he is, fish on. Oh no. Oh, he's going in the dock, he's going in the dock. Oh, Jesus. This fish is definitely wrapped around something here. Oh, geez, he's going back in. <laughs> he's going, <laughs> oh, crud. It's a little guy too. It's a snook. Oh, 
Oh, yeah, you're a little guy. Oh. Nice little snooky right there. See you later, buddy. Oh, there he is, fish on. We're in the trout, man. Trout is on. These get when they're little like this, they have so many little like like thumpy head shakes. Yeah. Don't they hit it pretty hard for like Oh yeah, they hit it good. How non-aggressive looking they are. Whoa. This is a decent one too. Nice. He choked it. He absolutely choked it. <laughs> Look at him. I got him. Unreal. Oh man, he swallowed it. Yeah, he's. Is, you want me to hold your rod? Yeah, so it's a little bit that. easier? Yeah. Whew. Nice fish. And isn't it cool? I love the inside of their mouth, how yellow it is. If you open it up, I feel like it looks so cool. He, he yeah, really he choked it. it. He's gonna. Uh, that little black tip that was swimming around earlier. That's what. Uh, this guy might end up being his next meal. Yeah, sadly. That's fishing. You know, catch and release can only go so far. You oh, what the? Part. Just oh, popped, it just popped, popped right out. <laughs> he swam right off. Yeah, I think yeah. he'll be good, actually. Yeah. I think it was just that initial land. He must have got tagged in, like, mm. the wrong spot. I, I feel like I got more gold tonight. <laughs> Thanks, bro. Oh. Woo! All right, guys, we're back at the truck. Man, it's Steaming. hot. It's yeah. Um, I'm like a gazillion degrees right now, and um, you know we caught some fish. And at least this morning it was overcast, cloudy, a little rain, but you know it was it was phenomenal in my book. I caught a you know a giant, I guess. You caught a sea trout. You got, you got a trophy trout. You I got, got I got one. a trophy trout. Yeah. Sadly, I didn't get the whole fight on footage, but at least Victor got you know some you know some sweet footage of it and got me you know cool photos. And uh, you know I caught some really nice snook. And I mean they weren't giant. I mean but in my from me being in my position. And just starting out like snook fishing yeah. you know but it's i can settle the, for anything it's also the time of year this time of year we don't have the big spawning snook it's kind of like up north you know it's it's not big bass it's that's average size snook for this time of year you know yeah so i mean i'll take it i mean i'll take anything and uh definitely a good day um if you guys want to see or make sure you know when more videos are posted don't forget to subscribe to my channel as well as victor's land shark fishing i'll put the links down in the description and uh, yeah, that's about it. I uh, hope you guys enjoyed today's video. Make sure you check back in so you know when I upload future Florida videos. And never forget, fish to live and live to fish, guys. <laughs> See you later. Words to live by.